Namaseo, this is Ava from Glow with Ava and welcome to my channel today. If you are new to this channel, I cover everything you have to know about skincare, beauty, lifestyle to get your skin and body glowing. So make sure to join the Glow Gang by subscribing to my channel here and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glow with Ava. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started with today's video which is the best serums of 2020. So this is a sequel to my best of skincare 2020 video, so if you haven't checked that out yet, please make sure you do. But as I mentioned in that video, I wanted to do more subcategory sequels to that video because uh, it was just really hard to narrow down the top 20 items in that video. But in that video, I only mentioned the new products that I tried out this year. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about, you know, serums I used in previous years and I still continue to love today. So these are considered this my top 10 serum picks of all time. And once again, this video is by no means sponsored by any brand these are truly my own honest opinions and I do have links below to for you to shop all the products and I do get a small kickback from the um, links below so if you do want to support me through those links I would love that if you don't no worries at all no hurt feelings so let's dive in very first product is the Seor's Calming Day Ampule. This is already my third or fourth bottle. I truly love this. So this is more of like an ampule, so not necessarily a true serum, but the hydrating power is so there. It's super, super calming. The pink glassy texture gives you the instant sheen and glow to your skin. And I mentioned this in my previous video, specifically the one on my New Face Routine um, as a New Face Gel Primer Alternative. Because of how thick this consistency is while still um, hydrating your skin and feeling lightweight. This was a perfect swap that I found for the New Face Gel Primer because it would allow my New Face device to kind of glide over my face. It was absolutely lovely. And the key ingredient here is the Omija Fruit Extract, which in Korean culture, Omija is a really good um, drink to drink in the summertime because it has the anti-inflammatory as well as the soothing properties to kind of calm down your skin as well as calm down your body temperature in the summertime. So honestly, this is perfect for the summer, but also in the winter season when your skin is feeling really inflamed, and that is why this is called the Calming Day Ampule. The Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. Oh man, I have talked about this so many times throughout the years. I have multiple videos on this. I talk about this all the time on Instagram, and this will be a holy grail for me, you know, forever, and I truly mean that. So this is what made me fall in love with the whole Vino Perfect line at Caudalie and it still remains to be one of my favorite lines um, from the brand. So Vino Perfect, especially this um, serum, is formulated by um, a wine sap, a great wine sap, um, that is apparently you know, 30 times more powerful and effective at brightening your skin than vitamin C, which was pretty surprising, but when I do actually use this in lieu of a vitamin C serum in the morning, I really still to this day see that instant brightening effect on my skin. It's absolutely lovely. So I still remember because um, two, three years ago, I was suffering from you know extreme red cheeks. It was something that I just couldn't, couldn't get rid of at all. It was just like a constant part of my life. And once I started incorporating this one as, uh, well, as well as some other vitamin Cs as well, I started to notice a very very, very diff big difference in overall soothing, my redness, as well as hyperpigmentation. So multi-purpose serum, I can't stop talking about this, will be used forever and worth every penny. The Paula's Choice Niacinamide 20%. So I was already a big fan of the 10% Niacinamide booster from Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice, first of all, as a brand, I love. It's very no frills. And each of the boosters are extremely powerful at targeting specific needs that you need um, in your skin. And it's easy to kind of um, mix and match the ingredient boosters as long as it's good to mix together and your skin likes it. So um, knowing that the 10% niacinamide my booster worked really good for my skin, I was very intrigued by the 20% when they first launched it. But when they did first launch it, I was a little hesitant because um, usually higher percentage is, is in um, a specific ingredient. If it's too high, it can irritate my skin. So I was worried 
the effect this will have on my sensitive skin. And also just like this with any other skincare, SPF included, just because it's double the amount does not mean it's gonna be double the efficacy. Sometimes a really high percentage can actually be even worse for your skin. So you gotta be really careful on that. So I started um, patch testing this on my hands first, my neck area, and then I slowly moved it up to my um, face. And guys, I really saw a huge instantaneous results with this one, especially around my pore area. So I think with the main ingredient being nice and it might also helps to brighten your skin. However, instead of just brightening my skin, the biggest difference I noticed was in overall kind of controlling and sapping up the enlarged pores that I had around my skin area. And this was especially helpful in the summertime as well when my pores just looked more visible. It's obviously, you know, has double the amount of niacinamide in it. Doesn't mean it doubled the efficacy. However, I saw much more instantaneous result from this. And since then, I didn't have any kind of skin irritations. I sometimes even mix it with my vitamin C. And I know that is a controversial topic, but even when I mix this 20% niacinamide with a, you know, vitamin C serum in the morning, I still didn't see any kind of irritation. So okay, my beloved pharmacy honeymoon glow. So I've had this product for about two and a half years now, I believe. And I first tried it when it first launched and I was so lucky because that was when I was first starting out my Glow with Ava account. And they actually invited me to their um, honeymoon glow event in New York City. I was like such a shy little girl at the event. So excited that I even got invited. As soon as I got back from the event, I put this on my face and I still remember it was around July, I believe. Um, and when I put this on my face, like my face was, you know, burning and stinging so badly. I was horrified. I was, I never had an experience like that with any single kind of product. And I almost tossed this product because of how bad the stinging was. But the next morning, the glow and just like the new look on my face was what really made me think that this product works. Think of this as like your resurfacing serum that you put on overnight and the next morning it's going to, you know, give you a new face. It's going to slow away all the dead skin cells. It's going to resurface all the bad things on your skin and give you a more rejuvenating appearance the very next day, right? So it does have a blend of AHA, BHA, as well as fruit acids to kind of slow away the dead skin cells. It also has a proprietary honey um, to soothe any kind of inflammation and red and also hyaluronic acid to prevent any kind of moisture loss. I'm telling you after the first time I built my skin tolerance up so it doesn't really sting for me as much now um, but if I didn't use this for like two three weeks and then suddenly use it then I'll still have that kind of more intense stinging um, sensation but trust me it's just doing its job it's just killing off it's battling its enemies within your skin service and trust me the morning after you are going to love it. GBR, the Great Barrier Relief from Crave Beauty. So this serum and I have come a long, long way. At first, when I tried this, first of all, I didn't really love the smell. And I thought of this as like your typical serum slash cream. Didn't think it was going to be that life-changing for me, right? But now I can finally say that this has really been a big life changer. And I know that a lot of you guys out there are true fans of this product as well. So if you do have a damaged skin barrier, your skin is keep breaking out no matter how many products you're using on your face or you have constantly inflamed skin, then just try this for a week and I assure you, you are gonna see some kind of difference um, in your skin for the better. The third ingredient here is tamana oil and that is the reason this um, serum does have that kind of pungent scent. And tamana oil as an ingredient is a breakout cleaner, texture smoothing and a powerful oil. And tamana oil, they have a lot of different derivatives. There's a lot of places you can get tamana oil from, but there has been a lot of um, derivatives in the market that isn't as pure as the original tamana oil. So a lot of them have been um, you know, reformulated in factories so that you don't get the intense smell. But typically if you don't have that pungent smell um, in a product with tamana oil in it, it, it typically means that it has been watered down a lot. So you're not gonna get that strong potency of the power of a tamana oil. However, with this one, um, you do have the pungent smell. Tamana oil is the third highest ingredient, amazing. 
and along with the tamale oil it also has safflower oil and rosehip oil so this is a true trio of oils and with this trio you're going to be able to calm any redness soothe irritation and also add back that hydration and moisture into your skin without it feeling greasy all right we're going to talk about one that i already introduced in my best of skincare 2020 video which is the skin lab vitamin c brightening serum which really needs no introduction i've talked about this way too many times so i'm going to keep this pretty short but try finding a vitamin c serum that is below 20 dollars, doesn't cause any irritation and also adds that kind of hydrating layer on top of your skin that gives you the dewy glossy gloss skin like look you're not going to find it other than this one. So um, this one sells for about $18, $19 um, and with a link down below and truly, truly one of the best vitamin serums that I have ever used. And on top of the vitamin C, it also has a little bit of niacinamide to help brighten your skin even more. And as I mentioned earlier um, with the Polish Choice, you can use these two together. And even when I use these two together, I really have not seen that much irritation. The vitamin C that they include in this is a very stable form of a vitamin C derivative, so it's not going to irritate your skin. I have never heard of anyone feeling irritated from this. And I know um, a lot of my Instagram followers have seen me talk about this and have purchased them for themselves. And I always get DMs saying how much they love this and thanking me for the recommendations. Okay, so. the Alleys of Skin Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum. You know, it's a pretty long name, but this is the powerhouse of acids. It has mandelic acid, lactic acid, as well as salicylic acid. Some of the most gentle forms of um, acids for your skin. So this once again is a trio of the most fantastic acids for your skin. And personally, my skin, loves all three acids. This one, I found that along with the acid, it also has plenty of antioxidants that help to nourish um, your skin as well. So just as the name suggests, this is a night serum that is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation. And you guys already know that I have suffered from hyperpigmentation for a very long time. And it's just like a constant battle for me. Here and there, I will still get redness. I'll still have dullness. I'll still have dark spots that I have to constantly battle. And that's when this has come into play. Even though it is a very gentle form of acid, it's still acid. So if you do have sensitive skin or with any skin types, I would suggest you kind of start slow and then build up your tolerance to the point where you could be able to use it every night and with a lot of acid products out there i feel like it's solely focused on the exfoliation aspect right however with this one it's not just about the exfoliation but it also has antioxidants and peptides to really care about your skin as a whole bringing back the moisture protecting your overall skin barrier and also taking care of the anti-aging aspect of it um, and that is why i think this does have slightly of a higher price point but i really believe that what is in this ingredient is very true pure and worth the price point so who is this for it's for anyone who is suffering from hyperpigmentation but for me especially i feel like this was best for really targeting the stubborn uh, hyperpigmentation that you do have something that you really can't be repaired by a vitamin c serum for example um, but someone who also wants to take care of the anti-aging aspect premature aging without doing any kind of damage to their skin okay, we so, only have a few left and we're going to be talking about the medicube pore serum once again um, i introduced this is in my best of 20 skincare 2020 video and guys i'm literally telling you as soon as I use this, I can actually see the size of my pores like kind of diminish, shrink. It just the, the look of my pores seems to diminish by using this serum. It's pretty incredible. And without talking about it too much, the ingredient list is stunning for especially sebum control and pore tightening. And yes, this serum does all of that. I specifically focus there around my nose area where my pores are more visible, but obviously you can use this for your entire face. The texture is gel-like, super um, smooth on the skin, but also adds back hydration at the same time. So if you do need one thing for your pores without causing too much damage, or if you don't like the aspect of kind of stinging and all of that, then get this one. The Shang Pre Long Lasting Concentrated Serum. Once again, this is another repeat from what I introduced in my Best of Skincare 2020 video. And this brand as a general is a brand that only people in the know really know, even in Korea, um, because this is actually a product line started from a very famous spa in Korea that has some of the most 
demanding clientele out there. Um, so for them to be able to produce um, a product that they can serve their most demanding clientele in Korea, it had to be that, that good. And this serum really reaches that kind of level and expectation that you want from a K-beauty brand. And this serum basically has everything you want in a serum. It helps combat anti-aging, it helps boost cell turnover, it helps fight pollution, especially in this modern day world. Um, it adds back moisture, it's lightweight, not greasy, just slides into your skin. Lovely, lovely, lovely texture. Um, and I recommend this for you know your moms, your mother-in-laws, any women out there who are in their late 30s or up, um, this is a great serum to have in your life as well. Okay. The last serum that I want to discuss once again is something that I already introduced in my Best of Skincare 2020, but it is a Sika serum from Cosrx. So this is part of the new Sika line that Cosrx launched this year to reformulate um, the actual Centella Asiatica that goes into their products. So with this whole line, they have seven different kinds of Centella Asiatica, which is why it's called the Sika 7 solution for a much more powerful blend of antioxidants and Sika into their products. And out of all their Sika line, this one was my favorite, especially when paired with a Sika powder. And when you use the duo together, I almost noticed an instantaneous difference in how the redness and kind of inflamed skin seems to just overall calm down um, my skin. It's a great product to layer with some of your other skincare products out there. For example, if you want to help fight um, your inflamed skin, but also want a slightly brighter texture, you can combine this um, Sika serum with your vitamin C in the morning, or you can combine this with your anti-wrinkle serum at nighttime. So a very, very easy product to pair with other products, especially given the lightweight gel-like um, hydrating texture. Well, that is it for my Best of Serums 2020 video. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. And if you are new, welcome to my channel once again. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this whole video helpful. And I cannot wait to come back to you guys in 2021 with more helpful, informative videos when it comes to skincare, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you want to check out more of my videos next year, then make sure to subscribe to my channel here below. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glowadeva.